Hi everyone, I thought I will show you a few ways how to take uh, multiple backets on a camera. Uh, this is of course my 5D Mark II. I will show you different ways how to take multiple backets, but on a different camera it will of course be a little different, but mostly it's all the same, so you just have to find the correct settings. So um, there are uh, ways to shoot multiple backets which are better for handheld, some are better for when you use a tripod. So let's look first at the handheld. For handheld I would suggest just using the in-camera. If you go to the menu and you find your exposure compensation, just select it and choose how much you want. So here I have I want a minus 2, 0 and plus 2. I said OK. Now if I'm shooting handheld I would choose uh, continuous shooting. So when you press the button, button and hold it, the camera takes all the shots. So let's look at it. You see I pressed hold and the camera took all the free shots for me. It's uh, This is best to do in the AV mode. hope you've seen that. Also here, AV mode. So uh, this is for handheld. Uh, you want the camera to be really quick. If you are on the tripod I would suggest going with a self timer. If you do that, and press only once. See, the camera took all the free shots on its own. Now, if I want more than three shots, and I only have the standard firmware, uh, I, there are multiple options you can do it. The simplest one is after you took this series, just moving the middle of your bracketed series from 0 to minus 1 or plus 1. It's, it depends if you want to have a <coughs> uh, the new series darker or brighter. So if I go to plus 1 and take the three shots, I will get the plus 3, plus 1 and minus 1. So if I get, uh, get the 1 series and the second series, See, both of my, I have uh, uh, everything from minus two plus, until plus three. So I have six, even if when my camera only supports three. So uh, let's look at the different, uh, by the, also if you have uh, custom modes on your camera, you can set them up that one of the modes uh, has the middle at zero and the second one and plus one. So you just take three brackets at the first custom mode, change it to the second one and you take again. So, but uh, let's look at a different way. So I turn this off and I turn to, oops, didn't turn that off. Okay, so uh, another way you can get a lot of brackets, but only if you have a good tripod because it should be stable because you have to touch the camera is going into a manual mode and uh, then just meeting the scene so you get the zero exposure okay I'm here now I will change the time <coughs> only the time each time you change it to half you will go one stop under so if I want to start at minus two I will go half Half okay, so 150 is one, uh, 100. So if I take the shot, oops, okay, we don't need the self timer anymore. Okay, when I take the shot, I have the minus two exposure, then I go to one uh, forty of the second, this will be minus one. If I go to one twenty, that would be zero. I go to 110 and I go to 150. Okay, and now I have everything from this is plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. You can also check out the histogram. You see, I have everything. With the manual, you can, <coughs> you can go higher up. If I go now, if I continue, like this is plus 1. This is plus two. Now I go one, two, three. I'm at plus three. One, two, three. I'm at plus four. So if I take this shot, this is a plus four. 
even if the camera never shows more than plus two because it can show it. But each time you double the time, you will get twice the exposure. Please don't use ISO 1600, I just use it so it's quicker now, the, so we don't have to wait too long for the shots to be made. Okay, so this is the second version. The third option which you can use is buy yourself one of these, a promote control, which as you can see is connected, oops, connected to the camera via USB and the shutter cable. So, uh, when you want to use this, what you do, uh, you first have to meter your scene. So I go and, okay, this is 150th on the second for the zero exposure, or you can go into AV mode and just press it. So the meter is the scene. So this is 115 at f5.6. I go here. I hope you can see it. Okay, so I have to set up that I get the same time here. So I go and I need to set up 115 of the second. That's for the zero exposure. Now I set up the step between two. I set up how many I want. If you set up seven, it will go from minus three to plus three. If you set up um, less, like five, it will go from minus two to plus two. And then you just click start and the camera will take your shots. The promote actually supports up to, I think, 45. So yeah, you just can go up, 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 up. See, now I'm at 20, so I could take 20 shots and it invalid settings because uh, it's too, they are too short. The camera cannot take such short shots, but if like to 16, it will be from 1, 4,000 seconds to 8 seconds. So yeah, a lot, but you don't need that usually. So this is when you use a promote. Uh, the last option you can have if you have a Canon camera is use a, a Magic Lantern firmware. Magic Lantern firmware I shown already in one video, but I will show it here again. You go into Magic Lantern, when you have it installed, just look at their site, they have a great guide there. You press the uh, button and you get the Magic Lantern screen. What you can do here is turn off HDR bracketing and set up how many shots, what's the difference and what's the sequence. So. If you go one zero, uh, zero minus minus minus, the first shot taken is the brightest, and then it go down. If you go this, then the first shot taken is in the middle, then it go darker, brighter, more darker, more brighter. So uh, it will alternate. And if you go this, the first one is the darkest, and they will go brighter and brighter. So when this is set up. Uh, again, I advise you to use the self-timer if you don't use a remote, a remote is better. And now you set up where it should start. So we have it at five brackets. So if it will start at minus two, then you will get minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. If it started at zero, you will get zero, one, two, three, four. So if I go here and Turn it on. Okay, and I got plus two, plus one, zero, minus one, minus two. If I want to shoot, for instance, seven, so I go here and I put it on seven, and I want to go from minus three to plus three, so I go here, this is the minus two, so I have to uh, half the time so I get to minus three, so it's one two hundred fifty on the second. So I go down until I get the one two hundred fifty of the second. It will show a blinking minus two. That means if you are under minus two. So if I turn it on, okay. So now we have a plus three, plus two, plus one, zero minus one, minus two, minus three. So like this, you can go up to nine. What I would suggest if you use this, 
you see that between minus 2 and 1 there are two dots. That means when I move I go in steps of one third. What you can do, most of the cameras have this under custom settings. You go, just look at the manual and you will find it. And there is this. You can change the exposure level increments. It's either in one third or one half. So if I go and change it to one half, now I have only one stop in between. So each of my changes are quicker. So I don't have to turn it three times, only two times. Really makes this much easier. Also, I will show you two more things with uh, Magic Lantern, as we already hear. One is if you can't find the correct white balance for a photo and you have a Magic Lantern installed, it's really simple. Just go into Live Mode and you press the white balance button on your camera. So I press the white balance button. You see here I can change the white balance. But if I press the middle button, the Magic Lantern film will try to find the white, uh, white balance for you. And it also makes a color shift. So I found out this makes really usually the best colors. You don't have to really experiment so much. And this is really just two buttons and it goes to all the settings and finds the one for you. Uh, see? It's quite... Another thing, uh, if you use Magic Lantern and you want to have uh, exposure, this is not so much with HDR but uh, with long exposures, if you want to have exposure longer than 30 seconds on your camera, you go here in Magic Lantern until bulb timer you turn it on under the bulb timer and you set how long the exposure should be. So let's say 40 seconds. And now if you want to uh, the camera to take the 40 seconds exposure, so it should be on, you want to take this 40 seconds exposure, you have to hold the shutter button in the middle position Yeah. Ah, the, don't, I, I forgot the camera has to be in bulb mode. <laughs> okay, so you hold the shutter button in the middle position until you see this. And then the camera will take the exposure for you. So you just wait until it shows the overlay. So I think that's all for this video and I hope it will help you. Okay.